All right, so this is Shalom from Dreams and Ambition, and I got some questions about the real estate stuff and about real estate investing, flipping, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm just going to touch on it lightly and kind of visually just for those who find it easier to, to, to see this visually. So um, here's how it works. A bit of how it works, you know. There's tons of different sides of real estate, okay, um, and so many niche markets you can get into. But specific real estate flipping, it starts this way. You let's say you have this property, right? This is a this is a house. This is some kind of property. You find it, and you know it's it's on a retail market worth 500k, right? Five hundred thousand um, dollars, and this person—that's how much you know. They they got their mortgage for, and you know they bought it for five hundred k. They've been paying it down, and for years and years and years. And then the market crashes, so the market takes a dump, right? And now this house, you know, they they can't pay their mortgage, but they still owe. You know uh, a couple or a few hundred thousand on it now the bank knows that you still have let's say you still have three hundred thousand to pay on this right 300k the bank um they can't wait for you to you know wait till the economy gets better you know for for them to make their money back so they still own this property, even though you've paid off two hundred thousand. They still own this property until you paid off that three hundred k. Now, if you default long enough, then they get back to owning it, and you get kicked out. So you get kicked out of your house. You already paid two hundred thousand for however number of years you were in the house. Now the bank is stuck with this house that they're not getting a mortgage on. They're not getting these monthly payments, which they they rely on, and so. Then they, they come to us over here, XYZ company, and they know that, okay, this company, they have cash and they like to buy real estate. So we make an offer. We say, hey, we'll buy this house for 350 grand cash. The bank says, you know what? I mean, they owe 300 on it. We can make an extra 50K on it. So then they give us the property. So now we own it. So now, now we own this property that is that we just got for 350, 350K, All right? So let's say the property is in decent shape or, you know, nothing too extremely bad. And we decide to put an extra 25K into it. A rehab work you know we put rehab work into it for 25 so now all cash in we are at 375 right um, however remember at the best retail market this property is worth 500k okay right now the markets in a dump so even though in a great market it would be worth 500k we figure we put 25 grand into it, 375, and you know we can probably sell it at let's call it 450. You know, hopefully you can get that much. But let's say you can get 450 for it in today's retail market, even though this retail market is a little bit lower than what the the real strong market would be. You're taking a little dump on it, 50 grand dump. But if you look at the margins, you've made quite a bit of money, right? In a nutshell, that's really how it works. You know, numbers are quite a bit inflated. It just depends on the territory you're in, etc. But um, in a nutshell, that's how it works. Now, the important thing to recognize is here, this is the homeowner, right? And this is the company that actually has the cash. In between these two is where you're going to find a lot of the people that are 
doing the ads for the we buy cash or who call themselves real estate investors simply because those people in the middle you have your bird dogs in here you know these are where all your brokers are okay they're gonna be in between the homeowner and the person who actually has the real cash oftentimes these are companies rarely are they individuals they're usually companies who have large sums of cash available to buy real estate so in here you'll have your bird dogs you'll have your we buy cash sign guys and all that what they do is they might come to this homeowner prior to any sale they'll come to the owner and say hey listen you're gonna lose your house you know to the bank how about you know we, we can make a deal and buy it from you at this fixed rate whatever that rate is and they just get it under contract all right that way they're able to take that contract and come to someone who's an actual cash buyer to say hey I actually have this house or home under contract technically meaning I sort of own the rights to it so I'll buy it to you I'll sell it to you at this price at X price you know um, so that's really I guess in, in a short way how this whole thing works and you know maybe I'll do some more detailed stuff in terms of how I find these properties you know find the great deals and you know oftentimes people have difficulty finding you know the companies or the people who have the real cash to to buy these properties because that's an important part of it usually in, in in a flipping market you know if you don't have cash it's it's difficult I mean it's if you don't have cash you don't have cash you can't you can't really play it's, it's a it's a big boy sport and often those people who tell you you can buy the home without any cash or anything is because they're probably going to use you as a bird dog meaning just find the property I know who has cash or have access to the cash and you just get the property so usually you're going to be a bird dog to start and as you learn the business then you can get closer to people who will trust you with very large amounts of cash to trust that they can give you that money and get a return on their investment etc so yeah that's from my experience a little bit of how it works and uh, again this is Shalom from Dreams and Ambition and this is my real estate talk so